Well, I think we're brutally regulated. Um, we're also brutally overtaxed. Uh, and it's a problem because we're a thin margin business as it is. And one of the reasons we're such a thin margin business is because no nation, at least from the United States perspective, the U.S. does not have, nor do I think Europe has, a coherent aviation policy. That's pretty strong stuff. Uh, well, it's the fact. What would you like them to be doing? Because there are so many vested interests, aren't there? It's very difficult to have an aviation policy when you've got people complaining about runways in Germany and the UK. You've got people complaining about this, that and the other in the US. I think, I, think, I think there could be more rational taxation of our business. I think there could be more rational regulation of our business. I think there could be more recognition of the value that our business brings to the world economy or the national economy in the U.S. from a United's perspective. Um, I think that there could be a more rational attempt to regulate us from an environmental perspective than having piecemeal regulations like ETS. ETS is not a good idea in your view. Well, I think ETS is, is a piecemeal regulation in a business that's global that it makes no sense. Not every airline can buy an oil refinery. <laughs> Not every airline would want to buy an oil refinery. That's my question. If one came on the market, I mean, it, it, was, a, it was a nifty deal that Delta has done, which one can admire from afar, but do you, would you do something similar? No. Think about it. <laughs> no. Why not? Well, look, uh, you know, Delta's run by smart people, and, uh, and they have their reason for doing it, I'm sure. Uh, but we'd rather, we'd rather watch and see how they do their... Uh, you know, we, we're going to focus on our fleet and having a fuel-efficient and a modern fleet, uh, focus on running airline efficiently and fuel prices. Um, I don't think that's an area that we have any expertise in. Uh, we have expertise in the airline business. We don't have expertise in the refinery business. This is something, this is nudging at something which people are saying sort of behind closed doors and behind their, their hands. Delta will live to rue the day they did this. Well, I don't know whether that's true or not. I, I think the folks at Delta are smart, uh, but they have an appetite for risk that probably exceeds my appetite for risk. So American Airlines and U.S. Airways, if, if it becomes a merger question, will United oppose a merger? No. You will allow it, you, you would not be standing in order? Well, I'm not sure that we could prevent a merger if we wanted to, but I think that the, I think the consolidation has been good for this business. Mm -hmm. And uh, if American and U.S. Airways want to get together, uh, no, I don't think we'd be interested in standing in the way at all. Do you think it makes sense? I know it's always invidious to invite one to, compete, to comment on one's competitors in any industry. <laughs> I think consolidation has been very good for the business, Richard. I think, I think, and I think further consolidation would be, would be good for the business as well. Finally, are you having fun? I'm having a blast. It's, it's, it's enormously fun. And, and this is the first time in my 17 years in the business where, we're, where we have the prospect of turning the airline business into a real business that makes money every year and actually does something radical. No! And increases, and, and, and so much we can increase the cost no, of capital. You can't do it! We, no, we can exceed you the cost of capital. Yes, we can. We can have a business. We can have a business that actually, that actually returns in excess of our cost of capital. We absolutely can do it. Half a percentage margin is the latest number for profits. According uh, that's to a, but that's across the world. That's not at United. Look, I'll tell you what. We'll make a bet. I'll come back here in a year. You'll see where we are. I'll come back in two years. You'll see where we. How's that? Deal. <laughs>